<sighs> if only my brother would finally learn to play the guitar and he'd stop playing that damn Call of Duty. Andy? Andy? Will you come to me? Whoa! I was just playing Call of Duty, what am I doing here? It's a miracle! I was getting loads of kills, you oh. oh. well, what's going on? Well, I, I thought, you know, I, I heard that you actually bought a guitar, but I didn't know if it's alive, if it's a mystery, like, is it true? I don't know, did I? I mean, if only you could get a Sigma guitar, just appear. Just appear? <laughs> what the? It's a miracle! <laughs> what's going on with this place? <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me try that again. I wonder if a million pounds will come. The power is gone. works twice, twice <laughs> every year. Lucky if lightning strikes twice. Hello, Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. And, um... Hi, he, yeah. He's back. I'm, I'm back. Um, I, think, I think the last time there was a video uh, of both of us playing guitar in must must have been uh, 2017. 2017, yeah, a little while ago. And mm. we was in a bigger room. <laughs> this is very tight in this room, and uh, but uh, we, we, we've somehow fitted it in. We've done it. Yes, yes. Um, so, so you started playing again. Well, to, you know, to to uh, to bring you up to speed, um, when lockdown happened, uh, Fender gave out a three month free code for their website. And um, I thought, you know, what better way to start learning guitar again and in lockdown. So I took advantage of, mm -hmm. that, of that offer, I like free things. And um, yeah, just started started practicing and, and kind of picked it up again and got more kind of into the whole playing guitar again. And, um, and you know, used your classical guitar, which we used before, and then started wanting to get my own guitar and then we did, uh, I don't know, when was, that, when was that video we uploaded? We went to Guitar Guitar to... Uh, about three weeks ago, three four weeks ago. weeks ago now, something like that, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'm sure um, that's... I'll put a link yeah. in the description box, yeah. Um, and, bought, and bought this. It was a choice of two different guitars, Sigma and Alvarez. Alvarez, Alvarez, Alvarez yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, and got this, and yeah, I've, I'm kind of enjoying playing guitar compared to when we did it in 2017. It was... I was always struggling. Like, I just want to. I just want to play, and I can. I, I know quite a few chords, and I know a few, a few songs I've been playing. But now I want to get to the point where I want to. I said to you, I want to. I want to improvise. I want to, mm -hmm. you know, noodle, noodle, <laughs> whatever, and, and play better, and just sit there and just strum out some things instead of just going over C and then A and then G or something. Just the old random uh, open no chords. Yeah, open chords. Well, well, yeah, yeah, those open chords. Um, so yeah, that is where we're at at the moment. Well, first thing, well, when the, we, before we hit record and whatnot, um, first thing I noticed uh, from seeing the guitar a month or so ago when um, when you bought it is that uh, you've been playing it a lot because the strings look like they need changing. And Andy was like, "What are we going about?" But um, I imagine I'm assuming you've been playing outside a lot of you and with it it's been really hot here. And... Uh, yeah, it's been really hot here. Played it. A couple, a couple of times, and building up a bit of sweat on the guitar. Yeah, but, so, um, no, I can definitely yeah. see uh, the the coloration. I don't know if it's been picked up on either yeah. camera. Probably not, but um, but the coloration has, has gone a little bit, you know. Um, but I do like. I mean, I only put these strings on um, a week and a half ago, and uh, I did do a, a little outside acoustic gig, and this it started to go a little bit already. I noticed it when I picked this up. Um, but I was, that was like a three hour gig I was doing, so I was outside and, you know, it's just, they just go. But I'm not saying you've got to change every week, but uh, I've got a packet, I'll give it to you and I'll show you how to. I mean, I don't mind it. playing until these are really dead. I'm not, I'm not. Cool, but when you, well, does it do that? And then when you put a new set on, you'll notice, notice the difference, difference and you'll see yeah. what I'm talking about, you know? Yeah. So, um, just see how you, let's see how you are. So, obviously, um, you say with the open chords you've been kind of doing. Um, I, I heard you do the Eraser song, Half the World Away. I want to be a little bit careful because uh, I don't want the video being taken down for copyright. <laughs> on certain the Oasis is quiet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a nightmare now, the whole yeah. copyright thing. But if it does, I'll just, don't wait. If it 
it won't get taken down, be the monetization thing, but it's fine. Um, but, uh, so you've been just predominantly looking at open chords of you, and you kind of, uh, you well, looked at any I've, bar chords? I, I mean, I've tried some bar chords, I know they're, they're hard, I've always, when I've looked at, I think, is it Guitar, Guitar Pro, like, um, like bar, apps or websites and how to play oh, okay. songs I, I, to be honest I don't look at any apps um, so I, you, you know more about um, them yeah, yeah. and just looking up some favourite songs really what, what to play are oh, you um, Andy Guitar my buddy you were checking him out weren't you uh, yeah I've looked at some uh, uh, Andy Guitar stuff um, yeah, it's quite quite helpful yeah um, but any when I've been looking at what is it a bar bar sheet bar yeah bar core sheet yeah, yeah bar core sheet um, so when looking at them if there's oh there's a lot of bar chords or there's lots of uh, this and oh no I'm gonna steer clear of that. I'll well basically songs, what it is you, you, you get to the point with chords and, and scales as well but let's go chords for example is that you know it's all the different sounds so what I mean by that like you might have played a C chord like that or if you a like bar chord I'm talking about you might recognize that shape you know let's do it here so that would be a, this would be a G chord bar chord yeah but as you know, there's also a G here. So it's the different sounds you want. You know, there's one here, there's one there, there's one there. And if you get your fingers in, you're kind of back, back there again, the same one. So it's just the different kind of flavors you might want in it, to the point where, where you are on the guitar, you know, like there, this is an A. Then I went to an open E chord, there. You know, so I could have gone to an E chord there. It's all getting to the point where you know your neck and you can get the different sounds. Or if you're doing a song and say you're playing with another guitar player, one of you could do a little kind of open, no, a D chord like so, and then you have one. No, so if you play a D chord for me, yep, just do a little strum on a, on a D. Let me, let me get my own yeah, yeah, out. Out. Yeah, out. I bought a, ple we bought a plectrum pack. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a more flexible one, which you don't like. Personally, yeah, I like. I like well, I've got the next, the next size up. Still, still thin, but not as, not as flexible. So, I prefer that one for strumming. The flexible cool, one. cool, yeah. So, if you get a D and do a strumming, do a strumming pattern you're comfortable with. Okay. <coughs> get a what? A D. D chord, yeah. So keep that. Now, if I play a D here. Same, obviously same notes, but... It just adds a big body sound to it, as opposed to both just doing the same... You know what I mean? Same kind of thing all the time. So that's why you kind of... But then how do you remember all those chords? How do you remember all the words we speak when we have a conversation? Oh. It's just, it's just... It's a lot. You know, I mean... You know me probably better than anyone. Uh, I'm a very simple person, <laughs> and I've got terrible memory in, and also clueless at most things. So if I can do it, you certainly can do it. Mm. It's just repetition. It's all muscle memory. You know, I can. I remember I've said to you before, like doing an F and having that. I remember learning my first bar chord, and and then thinking the exact same thing you just said about. I can remember leaving my guitar lessons. And I remember saying to mum, oh, I just want to be able to sit and play. This is exactly what you're talking about. So I'm kind of, it's weird. Like I'm just hearing you speak me 20 years ago, or mm. more than 20 years ago now, you know. Just be able to sit and play the guitar and not think about it. So it can, I'm living proof. <laughs> it can happen, all right? Trust me, it can. It's just, you know. I don't want to, I don't want to wait. 20 odd years or whatever. Well, that's it is. just, well, well it's, it's all what you put into it. Oh, you yeah. know, like you see kids on Instagram, and I say kids because they're kids to us who are 14, 15, and they've been playing four or five years, and there's this kid, Max Osto, I've oh, mentioned yeah, about yeah, for, and yeah. he's ridiculous, yeah. you know, and he's, I think he's fifth, just turned 16, 15, 16 years old, you know, and he's like playing Ingve Malmsteen, yeah. the technical shreddy guy. So, you know what I mean? It's not how long you've been playing, it's how long you put into playing. You know? Like that keyboard, my mum mom and dad got me a keyboard about 14 years ago, you know? I haven't touched it in about 13 and a half years. You know, I could say on paper, I've been playing keyboards for 14 years, but I haven't, 
you know, I put about a week's worth of practice into it. You know what I mean? So, so what I want to do today, as you were saying, you've done your kind of chords and you want a bit more um, technical. Well, yeah, technical, yeah. but a bit, bit more something else to do. Uh, I thought I would show you this thing which I call solo blues. And it's on my, I've got a video, a full video of it actually on my YouTube channel. Um, but it's mixing, first of all, it's, it's using three chords, one, there's a fourth chord, but predominantly it's three chords. Okay? And it's going to be an E7 chord, an A7 chord, and a B7 chord. And then back to your E7. Your kind of blues chords. But we're going to be mixing up some little bluesy lines with it. So let me just play it and then this in two parts. We'll do part one for today. All right? So uh, don't get scared. It looks and sounds, it looks scary than no, what I it mean, is. I mean, those chords, I'm happy with Oh, yeah, but I'm the lead bit. Let me oh, just right, play okay. So. this when I was 13. <laughs> okay, so it can, it, it, like, it just, that's what I mean about it being a bit more exciting, it's got chords, it's got your little lead bits and it's, it's fun, alright? Is that, and, and, and are you sliding or are you hammering on? Uh, everything in that was a slide pretty much, yeah. Alright, oh, yeah, so yeah. let's just do it and see what happens, okay? And if you're new, like I said, I've got a whole video of it, of this piece, but get your guitar and learn with Andy. There you go, that's the name of the video. <laughs> learn with Andy. <laughs> All right, so if you get an E7 chord, which is basically your E chord, and take your third finger off. All right, oh, yeah. that's it. So let's play oh, no, no, it's that one. No, you're all right, that's it. Oh, yeah, that one. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now, if you just strum that, all six strings, yeah? So what we're gonna do is, that it's basically a thing called tonic and dominant. If you think of Johnny Cash. A tonic is the root note of the chord, so in E, the tonic of E is E, and then a dominant is the fifth note. So the fifth note in E is E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit the sixth string, yes, yeah, so if you hit the sixth string, and then strum the top four strings, and then hit the, and the, no, no, and then hit the fifth string, and then strum the top four strings. It. So we're going to go 6th string, 5th string, do that for us, and now we're going to change to this A7 chord, yeah, personally I'd recommend your 2nd and 3rd fingers, and just strum, and off, the uh, just strum the 5 strings, yeah, so you've got these from the E7, Now we're going to do this little blues lick, all using our favourite finger. Yeah. All right. And your second finger's already on there, on that note. So we're going to pick that full string. So we pick that full string. And now an open third string. And then go to the second fret on that third string, with your second finger again. No, down string, yeah. So that's... So, yeah, take your time. No, no, so you've got the second fret on the full string. Second yeah. On the full string. That's the second string, full string. Yeah. Yeah. So, so pick that. that. Now pick an open third string. And now go to the, on that string, back on the second fret. That's it, get used, right. to, get used to this doing that. That's it, take your time though, don't rush it. That's it. One more time. And now pick that note again, and you're going to slide forward a fret and back. That's it. That's it. So when you slide, you keep pushing into the wood. You don't want to. If you if you feel the note get cut off, that means you've lifted your finger up. So. 
That's it, so we've got... No, no, pick the note, oh, then, then slide. Pick it again, right. That's it, no. and then open third string, and then back to the full string, second fret. Yeah. Try again. No, no, no. Open. Open and then full string. Yeah. Yay, we're done. So what we've got so far is the E7, A7, E7, Make sense? Kind of. So you got your E7 chord, sixth string, strum, fifth string, strum. Now go to the A7, second and third fingers. Yeah, and then your and second finger is already in the note. Yeah, boom, yeah. and then we're gonna go back to E7 and go six strum, fifth strum. No, 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 six strum. Oh, six. Six. Then the fifth, fifth string. Oh, right, yeah. right, six strum, fifth strum, and then strum all six strings. Yeah, so just so you can see that. Yeah? Got these strings, he changes, right? Right, try with that again. No, no, it's oh, A7. Right, no, 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 <laughs> Good man. And then we're going to do this one. This is quite a cool one. Again, all using the same finger. All right? So we're going to start on the... Don't worry about what the scales are. This is more just getting you playing something cool. And you can press grandma. All right? So we're going to be on the second string, third fret. All right? And then we're going to slide again. So we're going to pick it, slide to the fifth fret and back. Yeah, so going forward two. That's it, cool. And then open second string. Yeah. And now we're going to go to the third string, third fret. Pick that and slide back a fret. I'll just, oh, just yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. So that was. So uh, third fret on the second string. Yeah. No, open. I mentioned that, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Then open third string again. And then finish on this E note. Yeah. Hopefully you remember the E, remember from your scale. You know what I mean? So still trying. I mean, I know how to play that, but I don't know what the, what the letters are. Oh, I gave you a sheet, didn't I? <laughs> C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, yeah. I don't think you gave me a sheet. Did I not? I just remember. I just remember the the, the shape. Go back and watch the video. I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> but that is that that is an E note. Try and get. I'm gonna keep saying the name of the note, so it's almost subliminally going in. So you're not thinking of frets, and you're thinking of notes. All right. So this is a D. We're starting on. So now we've got from the top. From right. the top. I can remember with that. Uh, right. Six string. Pick it and slide. Oh, and then 
that's E7. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's sixth strum, fifth strum. Oh, yeah. Six. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah, third fret. Oh, we went like this. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Open third, open third, yeah. <laughs> and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we try not to let the notes ring into each other. So, um, you know, it's, it doesn't quite. Yeah, take your time though. You don't, you don't have to slide quick. You can. Yeah. You'd probably get a bit of a groove in your finger. I like that though. I, every single day I'm like... Yeah, I, yeah, I used to like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then you'd just get Brillo pads, you know. Uh, Alright, do a bit more. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, now I'm going to go back to our A7 chord. Hopefully the camera's seen all this. Uh, we'll definitely do it back in the other room next time. It's too small in here. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to A7 and do 5th strum, 6th strum. And then strum the five, yeah. And then we're going to do this, the first lick, but it's all moved down, so we're doing it from the second string. So what you did here, doing the same thing, but doing it from the second string. So if you go down, you still with your second finger, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Now go back to E7 and do the boom chick boom chick strum. Strum. And then do that the one we did a minute ago. Third. Oh. Uh, Third fret. Third fret. Second string. Yeah, okay, right, right, right. What the, yeah. Yeah? I'm just I'm just being nice and slow for you. <laughs> right, do you want to recap? Let's yeah, recap that. Do it from the beginning to what you got to so far. Okay, so go. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, right. Uh, now A7. Strum all five. Try and get in the habit of like muting the strings out when you like. You know what I mean? So. Right, okay. Just to make it all a little bit neater. Am I starting? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. Same as the first lick, but move down. Yeah. 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 Now pick it, then slide. Now pick it, and then you pick it again. Just one fret. Completely so, mind, right. mind blank. So second going. string, second string. Start on the sec start start from the beginning of it. So, yeah, play that. Now open first. Pick it again. Yeah. 
Is it that one? Yeah, that one? second string. Second string. Do that again. That's it. But it's alright to do it slowly. Yeah? If you do it slowly, you can think about it more. If you're trying to... <laughs> you know what I mean? That's going to happen. So just... Alright, and then back to the seven. Strong. And then da 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 on that second string, third fret. Second string, yeah, second string, yeah. Yeah. Now, now we're getting to the, the this in blues is called the turnaround because it's going back to the beginning. So we're going to go to the B7, which is the squishy, the squishy chord. Um, hopefully you remember this, but uh, second finger, yeah, and then first finger on the full string, first fret. It's an E, isn't it? Uh, well, no, move your first finger up. Now your third finger on the third string, second fret. Third string. Oh, you got your third thing in there. Oh. Yeah, and then your pinky on the first string, second fret. That's it. A little bit squashed. What's I mean, this called? A B7. I thought. I've told it to you before. Oh, yeah, I know B7. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought it was a B or something. I was like, what? Well, yeah, it's a B7. <laughs> I know. No, I thought you were showing me a different chord. No, I know this chord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carry on. I'm not even getting paid for this. Uh, right, so you're gonna. Uh, so this is where the tonic and dominant thing comes in again. So hit the fifth string, strum the top strings. Now move your second finger up to the sixth string, and hit the sixth string, and then strum the top four strings. So you get that. Yeah. Only hit the string when your finger's on. That's it. And now go to A7. So you do that once. Do that once. Now to the A7. Fifth drum, sixth drum. But your second and third finger, yeah. And now get an E7 and a strum it. So. String. Yeah, fifth string strum. Six. Now we got the classic bluesy. If you play that in a guitar shop, you'll be happy. Just sit there. So, um, two fingers, first finger on the second string, third fret, second finger on the third string, full fret, alright, now we're going to, it's going to be the same thing throughout, you're just going to be moving this back, so you're going to hit the third and second strings at the same time, so if you do a down pick with them, yeah, so you're just hitting these two here, yeah, and then do an up pick on the first string, and then do a down pick again on those two strings. Yeah. All right, and it's gonna be that. All the way through. Yeah. That, that, da, 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 it's like a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. But think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's a triplet rhythm. So you know you see in films sometimes when people are dancing, they're going one, two, three, one. That's a triplet. Okay. So the reason I'm going because you're gonna do that. It's doing that. So you're gonna do it and then go back a fret and back a fret. 
but in that. Yeah, wicked, and then go back and just have your first, uh, sorry, beg your pardon, your second finger on that uh, first fret. Second finger. That's what you had, yeah. It's as if your fir first finger would be there. Mm. You know what I mean? So. Then open fifth string. First fret on, on that fifth string and then second fret. And that's the end of part one. <laughs> part one? <laughs> yeah. what? I thought I was done. <laughs> Alright, like, part two is so just so you can see. Part two. I'm putting feel to it, you know what I mean? So, like, what you just did, if I do what we just done with feel, Can't do that, but you can. It's just mm. practicing it. You know what I mean? And the beauty, you got the video, you can watch it back. And I don't know when that camera stopped. <laughs> We're back in the room! <laughs> um, but yeah, the beauty of it is that no, you can watch this back, and I do have the full video you can watch as well. So, do you want to try it from the top? Oh, just to end end on a high with Andy learning this bit so far. Okay. Six string. So I always start on the root note. So that's an E string, yeah? So it's an E7 chord. Open third. <laughs> And then back to E7. Slide forward two frets. Yeah. Open third. That's it. Yeah. No, fifth drum, sixth drum. Strum or five. Yeah. Oh, is this when I'm going backwards? No, 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 no. Same as the first slip, but move down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So then it's. Um, yeah. And back to the first chord. To E7. Yeah, yeah. Six. Six. Da 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 da. We just did this. Third fret. Third fret. Yes. Yeah, it's like. Oh, I'm doing that one again. Oh. Open, open third. That's it. And now B7, the squashy chord. No, no, good. that's your root note, that's your B note. So you're hitting the fifth, strum, and then move your finger up to F sharp, mm -hmm. yeah. Now to A7, fifth strum, sixth strum. And now E7. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's strum it, let's strum it. Oh. Yeah. 
and now the do 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 second and third frets. Sorry, I beg your pardon, third and fourth frets, yeah. Ba bum bum, open fish string, open fish string. Yeah, hit that, and then first fret on that string with your first finger, with your first finger, and then second fret. I think it'd be a lot. It'd be, I'm worn out. It would be a lot. It would be a lot easier if um, if I had um, a bar, either a bar, a bar, you know, the, the, the lines and you and you have busy. Yeah, tap, yeah. Uh, I can buy it out for you. Yeah, I've, I've got it. I've got it back up. To to, that, to yeah. um, get it get it round. Yeah, I'll sort that for you. Yeah, I'm trying to do it off by heart. I think actually as well, someone um, someone uh, tabbed this out on ultimateguitar.com. And so if you type oh, in Mike yeah. Bradley Ultimate Guitar, have you been on ultimateguitars.com? Uh, I saw I that I someone has it. tabbed it out on there, which is really? very nice. And they credited me, yeah. Oh, okay. Which is very nice of them. Um, but, um, but yeah, I've got it. Uh, I've got it here. I've got it at Dad's. So I'll, I can give it to you. Is it? I think I have that. Do I have the app? Oh. Is that, is that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's ultimateguitar.com, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is where you get... Um, a few of my songs through here. So out of curiosity, if you put in my name, Mike. this would be kind of embarrassing now. Yeah, it's uh, not on there. Acoustic solo blues. Acoustic solo blues, there you go. That's an ad. Sim simple yet fantastic acoustic solo blues song in the key of E. Do a downstroke followed by an upstroke when there's two of the same chord. There you go. Oh, I don't like it right now. Like that. Yeah, I'll write it out properly, you know, it's but like I'm that. just, you know, it was very, how's has he even done it? Yeah, it looks like, it looks like the old Mac, Macintosh yeah. computers, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I've got it. <laughs> I don't know that Is that going to come out there? There you go, kind of. Kind of. But uh, I'll sort it out to you, yeah. But obviously you can watch the video back. But what I would say, practice it in sections. So just practice. And do that for like 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Then put. You know what I mean? And then slowly build in, you know what I mean? So obviously we're doing this, in, I don't know, this video is probably about four hours long at the moment, but um, you know, in your own time, and it, could, it is very sectioned as well, isn't it? So don't feel you've got to try and do the whole thing. I was just trying to do it to make sure, you know, repetition so, so that you remember it, but do it bit by bit and build it. You know, 10 minutes on one, just repeat it, repeat, repeat it, in front of the TV or something. You know, then add in another chord and another bit, you know, and then say do like an hour practice, it's going to start coming in, you know. So, um, but hopefully this will be a nice little, whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that was, that's what hopefully it was. Right. But hopefully you enjoyed today's um, guitar lesson, Andrew. Yeah, um, I mean, I... Um... I, I put a comment on our last guitar videos, and um, I, I can't believe how. The, the oh first yes, you thing did. You talk like this. What is it? This spider thing or something? When you're just going up the thing. Yeah. And, I, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm looking at this one first, and then I'm looking at where to put my fingers. And I'm like, how how was I ever that person? Man, you know what? That's the that is the cool thing about I suppose learning guitar in this day and age, you know, not to sound like an old man, but, um, you know, you can look back. I mean, I started, so that was 2017. I started playing in 1996. So in the August of 96, but 20, 20 years and up, 20 and a half years, you know, difference. And um, I would love to be able to look back at that. I've got one video when I was at school, like a school performance. I don't know if you were there or not, but mm. uh, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, mm. so I think, I think that would have been 19... That might be 1999, maybe 2000, I can't remember, or, you know, something like that. So that's the only, that's the earliest footage I have 
Uh, I might have to dig that out and and somehow uh, share it online. That'd be interesting to show people. But um, but yeah, so you, it's cool that you can see that improve, and then hopefully that gives you encouragement to think. Oh, okay, if I've progressed on that, and I've had a two-year hiatus, you know, hopefully, you no, know, in a year's time or six months' time, you can watch back on this and think, oh, cool, you know. Mm. So um, work on that, and then we'll get together in a week or two, and we'll do part. Okay, so hopefully you're still with us. Uh, <laughs> if not, you know, it's a cool video for you to watch. Um, but uh, but yeah, if you've been learning with Andy in this video, and uh, you're a beginner, even an advanced person, you know, um, you might better get this obviously a bit quicker. I hope you would if you're advanced. But uh, let us know how you get on in the comment section below. Uh, I'll put a link to Andy's. Um, YouTube channel as well. Do find it. He's got two, haven't you? I've got two. You've got a comedy one, and if you're into VR, um, he's got that, and he's just put a very naughty video up. Very naughty video. Yeah. It, 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 the, the thumbnail got flagged, and I had to take it down, so I've had to re-upload it again, and so far it's doing okay. But um, am, am I saying what it is on this? Check, I'll put a link, and you can <laughs> check it out in your own time. <laughs> 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 we'll just leave it at that, yeah. <laughs> I was going to share it on there and I thought, nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll put a link to Andy's two channels. He's got Andy Bradley and Andy the Player. And uh, and check out this controversial uh, one. As soon as you go on Andy the Player's YouTube, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, give, give Andy a, a sub if you haven't done so already. And we're on Instagram and all that good fun stuff. Anyway, lots of love. Hope you're very good and well as always. And uh, I've been Mike Bradley. I've been Andy Bradley. And we'll see you very soon. Bye! Bye. Fade it away.